Let's shut the door while we can, guys. Ha ha ha! You see nothing! Nothing! Ooh, ooh, pocket secretary. Let's look at that. Morg Axis, Dr. Gerald Campbell, Emmy, Captain, and keep with the RHS protocol. I've changed entry code for the morgue. For the duration of the morgue lockout, the interim code will be 9212. As soon as access has been restored to all personnel, the former code will be restored, and you'll be so advised. Oh, this... <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't need to knock out that poor guy. Shit. Okay, which way am I going? Okay, we go that way. Sorry, my bad. Don't mind me, sir. Don't mind me. Now this is a restricted access area. Come on. Come on, camera. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, heading down to the morgue, guys. Heading down to the morgue. We'll at least finish. Un unawarely, we'll be finishing a different mission than I had anticipated. Okay, we got a holding cell. We have a morgue. I guess I can go in automatically since I have the code. Damn. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. You get on out of here, you bad boy self. I accidentally doing this. Take Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Okay, guys, we're gonna get out of here. I think. Because we don't have to fight with anybody. I hope he doesn't mind that I'm duck walking. So, the side quest. We still have the side quest to do, so hold on just one second. Campbell's doing an autopsy on that John Doe they brought in earlier. Morgue's off limits until he's through. Again? The perp was trespassing. Who cares if Sarah's friend a cop killed him? Murder's not the issue. The way I hear it, our JD is a cop. No way. According to the first responders. Shit. How much you want to bet that story's about to change? Okay, now we're sneaking around for that storage unit like we promised. Um, shit. Shit. Eh! Eh! There's got to be a way to shut this bad boy off. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we had a crash. I don't know if this will work, but I got lo I've got i been trapped out here a while trying to get to that secondary area with the, basically the police department storage locker. So I'm going to see if this helps. Almost. God, if I could only just pull that. Can I push? No. Can I up my strength? Ooh, the... Ooh, 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 ooh. Inventory size. I think that might be important. Let's do that. Because I'm going to need that for later anyways. Still too heavy. That's okay. What I am doing is going to go grab a second one of these boxes. See if it works. See? I wonder. And I did. Did you guys see that? That was the human use, the monkey use of hands and tools. So we might actually get to get this thing done. Oh, crap, I have to go around, don't I? Storage locker, how do I get in there? How do I get in there? Oh, I should probably have read that up. All right, let's read that up. Okay, um, locate the DMPD storage unit. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, 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 we'll have to go back and do that as well. We're getting all the primary, though. 
Oh, we need to make that active. Oh, wait. There we go. Active. There we go. Okay, how do I get up there, folks? We'll be right back as I get up there. Oh, my God. I have ran around this whole time, and I didn't even see that I had to code. I am a dork. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> oh. I am so frustrated right now, guys. So frustrated. I have ran around for like an hour. Seraph Industries incident report. Incident. Terrorist attack on Seraph Industries headquarters. Detroit officer detective Gene Sapkowski. Probably use, probably use of unidentified high-tech compound. While examining the crime scene, Detective Hayward and I both noticed the area covered by the attack seemed abnormally damaged. Burnt to a degree that could not be explained by normal fire or use of any known explosives. It was the same for all of the recovered victims' bodies. Residue analyzed by forensics officers on the scene likely comes from high-tech accelerant of unknown nature. It seems the lab's equipment victims were deliberately burned to an excessive degree. The most obvious conclusion is this was done to eliminate all possible trace evidence, but it just feels odd, like something's off. Autopsy report, Megan Reed. Shit, they did find her body. I was hoping they wouldn't find her body. Megan, age 32, female, O+. Plus. Path MD, Lauren, preliminary note. I have been appointed by the state to perform autopsies on the remains of multiple victims of the attacks on Seraph Industries. This is due to the critical nature of the incident and the need for the State Department to be fully aware of every detail without going through an endless array of bureaucratic forms and requests. This is in no way linked to the competence of local ME Dr. Gerald Campbell and shouldn't be interpreted as such. Final diagnosis, vertebral injuries. Vertebrae in the neck area are displaced. Abrasions of the bones consistent with severe and sudden stress or pressure. Ligature strangulation. Abrasions found around the neck area, hard to clearly verify due to severe burns, but throat seems crushed. Three, severe burns. A, extremely severe burns covering the entirety of the body. B, accelerant residue has been sent to chem lab for analysis. C, absence of fumes rev residue and ash in the lungs. Indicate burns are post-mortem. Toxicology report. Blood ethanol, none detected. Blood drug screen, no drugs detected. Clinical pathological correlation. Cause of death is quick and intense snapping of the neck vertebrae combined with crushing pressure. Body was likely burned after the subject was deceased. Dr. Dana Hall, M.E. Uh, Terrorist attack, Seraf Industries Headquarters, Detroit. Confused witnesses. Details. Apart from Seraf's chief of security, who is still in critical condition in edit, and another lab technician who is lying in a deep coma in the same hospital, the only witnesses to the attack on Seraf who was left alive is a tech named Arthur Hopkins. Something peculiar regarding the witness's deposition or lack thereof. When we first got on scene, Mr. Hopkins was waiting for us in a rec room near the labs. He was obviously in shock, but was quite coherent and ready to give a clear description of the incident. The emergency response team wanted to make sure his condition was stable before allowing us to interview him. When we came back after his checkup a few minutes later, he was incoherent and confused. He couldn't remember anything about the attack. We still haven't heard back from the ER team regarding this matter. Addendum, Captain Penn. The situation has been resolved to the medical team. Mr. Hopkins' condition has been validated. He suffered from a severe concussion. This matter is closed. Terrorist Tax Surf Industries Headquarters, Detective Christopher Chase. Attackers are definitely professionals. Details, quick rundown. There is no trace evidence found at what seems to be the point of entry. The incident didn't last long, but the amount of damage was excessive. There were a large number of victims, and yet, not many rounds were fired, and the accuracy was spot on. The attackers were probably all marksmen. This was the work of top-notch professionals. Serif confirms that a new augmentation design was being tested just prior to the attack, but that the augmentation itself was unharmed and no files related were stolen. The obvious motive here is theft and or corporate espionage, but why then destroy the facility and murder everyone? A competitor could no doubt benefit from such a catastrophe, but these measures are quite extreme, and in my knowledge, this is an incident without precedent. I want to note here that I brought this matter up to Lieutenant Ashbrook on multiple occasions with no concrete results. Excellent. I think we got it all. I think we have. Um, now, I can't get in there. I don't have the tech for it. Now, let's go meet my mother-in-law. Okay, we're going to take care of all this, guys. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. 
Footage from one of our intellicams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power. Who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Or revenge. I'm okay with revenge as well. So that was the end of Motherly Ties. And we have the one more quest. What is the name of it? Investigating the suicide terrorists. So we just got to use my home computer to analyze the hub. Let's go do that now. Let's wrap these all up in the same in the same LP since we started it. It was accidental that I did both at the same time. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't got all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Wow, my home is kind of nice. Let me take a quick look around here while we're here. Okay, we've read that one. Um, Lots of food. Evidently, I like cereal. I'm a cereal guy. That's what I am, a cereal guy. Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Oh, there's the end of my mission, but let's take a quick look, guys. Call landlord, replacement mirror again. Ooh, that was a whole box. That wasn't one single energy bar, you assholes. No bathtub for me, huh? Um, there's my thing. Take all my items. Where do I look for my... Ooh, it does fit. Oh, nice. 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 All right. Let's keep looking, though, before we sit down to, to end this LP. Anything else? Nope, nope, nope. 
That certainly looks like something, but it's not. All right, let's do it, guys. Right here. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. All right, we're going to kick some ass. Uh, to Adam Jensen Mirror, Mr. Jensen, in re respect your latest reminder to have the mirror in your bathroom placed, may I remind you once again that the item is on back order. The situation is out of our hands, and no amount of pestering will make it arrive any sooner. And while on the subject, we're still unclear as to how precisely the mirror came to be damaged. Perhaps you can enlighten us. Your dog, ooh. Adam, I'm so sorry. When Megan died, nobody knew what to do with Kubrick, so I took him in. But I couldn't keep him, and nobody knew if he'd wake up, so I didn't know what else to do. I'm really sorry. He was a sweet dog. Diane, you bitch! Welcome home. Hello, Adam. This just quick note to welcome you to your new apartment on behalf of Seraph Industries. If you need anything or something is not satisfactory, please do not hesitate to let me know, and I'll pass it on to the building management. You'll notice there's a hidey hole of sorts built into the wall. The code for that is 5375. If your key is lost or damaged, I have a backup. Mr. Seraph does also, but try to reach me first. The lease is for a year and has been prepaid in full. You shouldn't receive any questions about rent, but if you do, please feel free to refer them to me. I wish you many happy years in your new home. Athena, you're pretty cool. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory. Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the d row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. And I still need you to see Dr. Markovic. All right. So, yes, we will wrap it up. What was the name of that last quest? Investigating the Suicide Terrorist. Okay, that's what it is. So, I will talk to you folks later. Until next time. Uh oh hold on. I'm not worried about that. Take care.